Good morning, everyone. It is Tuesday, and I don't know about where you are, but in Ohio, it is cold. Um, I don't know. I woke up around 4 or 4.30 this morning, and you know, it was one of those mornings you wake up and you can rest and lay there, but you think about everything. And finally, about 5.30, I got up and I saw Jeff's light was on, so we talked. I started the laundry, and... And then, you know, got busy and then I got sleepy. So now I'm sleepy and I'm ready to go to bed. <laughs> but um, we are going to twin with our Auntie Mandy today and our cousin uh, Gold Marigold. She is the Millicent Sculpt by Ping Lao and... That little girl has got a lot of spunk to her personality. We love her here at Tater Tots. And the boys are no exception. They think Marigold is hysterical and they love her to pieces. Marigold is actually wearing the same little outfit that Cameron is today. I should say Holland. He is the Cameron Sculpt by Laura Tuzio Ross. And he has got on a little Christmas Grinch outfit. It's got the Grinch and the dog and the little, what? Uh, what's that doll's name? I want that doll. I want the Grinch too. I Actually, I just ordered the Grinch from eBay. <laughs> I'm a kid at heart. What can I say? The Grinch is in his kind of olive green and red. And... Of course, the little doll is in her pink dress, and then the doggy. There's blue snowflakes, and there is red and white, like candy cane stripes around the wrist and around the ankles. And he's got on gray socks. And not to be left out, I should say, Mr. Bevan here, who is the make sculpt by Natalie Black has also got on a Grinch outfit. His Grinch is a sleeper, and it's Disney something Disney. No, a Dr. Seuss. It's a Dr. Seuss. It zips and snaps at the neck, and it's got little feet in it. And uh, his has got the elephant in it, too. But we love Dr. Seuss. And we love the Grinch. And we love that little pink doll that we are going to eventually get. But yeah, the boys have been pretty excited to, um, excuse my arm, to um, twin with their cousin Marigold today. You never know what that child's going to say, let me tell you. She's wild. I just don't know how Mandy... <laughs> I, I don't know how Mandy controls her, actually. You know, Mandy's got all the kitties, and she's got a full-time job, and she's got several other babies to take care of, and then she's got Wild Child Marigold, whom I'm sure we all love. Marigold's kind of like Gilly, you know what I mean? <laughs> but anyway, the boys have just kind of been hanging out today while I've been... Um, doing laundry. I've got most of it done and it's not even 10 o'clock yet. So yay me. Um, Bevan is holding our little deer here that Janet Smith made over at Instagram and she is creations underscore so underscore real. I love these little flat loveys that she makes. She's got a few more that I really want. So we'll see. I'm, I'm trying to learn my lesson here at my age that there's a difference between a want and a need. Well, guys, I've got a little thing to read to you today from God's Blessings, just for you. It's by Jack Countryman. And the verse is, Oh, how great is your goodness, which you have laid up for those who fear you, which you have prepared for those who trust you in the presence of the sons men. 
and that's Psalm verse 31, chapter 19. God's great goodness. How can we begin to describe God's goodness? He loves us enough to let his son take the death penalty for our sins. He goes before us, guiding and protecting us like a shepherd with his flock and providing ways for us to serve him by serving others. When we consider that God is the author of history and the creator and sustainer of the universe, we may marvel at his very personal love for us and for the blessings that, in his goodness, he tailors specifically for each of us. And when we recognize his Son as our Savior and Lord, for instance, he adapts us into his family. He also gives us his peace that passes understanding. His places, he places us in a body of believers who will pray for us when, exhausted or discouraged, we struggle to pray. We are truly blessed to be loved by the Good Shepherd himself. As we follow his lead and receive the blessings of his good care, people may notice. May we be ready to tell them about our good God who wants to love and bless them as well. So guys, I hope you all have a fantastic day. Hope it's warmer where you're at. I think I've started to tell you at 4.35 o'clock this morning, it was 19 degrees. So it's going to be a cold walk today, but um, I'll get at least one walk in. Yesterday we walked two times and I don't know. I just, I miss my walks and feel really blah when I don't get them. But anyway, thank you all so much for stopping by, giving us a couple of minutes. Go over and see Mandy at Mandy's Cuddlebug Nursery and we'll see you all later. Bye guys.